<laughs> what up? It's Tony Booty. Uh, <clears throat> just, uh, I was just thinking. And I, I could type it out, but uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I felt like doing the video. So, I was just thinking uh, today about uh, cancer and uh, there's been uh, some deaths in my family about cancer. So, I was thinking about what if I got cancer and uh, that's a possibility that I got cancer but I always said to myself and even my family like if I ever got cancer I'm not getting the uh, chemo no I don't want to do that but this is a question for Richard. If I don't get chemotherapy, would that be considered a form of suicide? I don't know, man. Is that against creation? The laws of creation? I don't know, man. Because I think, in a way it is, you know, you're not getting help, but, uh, well, uh, if you don't know what chemo is like, fucking getting poisoned even more, man, it's, it's like, you know, I've seen people in real life on that shit, man, and it's not, it's not a good sight, man, holy fuck. Oh man, the last thing I saw last, and I regret what I did then because I just ignored it. But it was years ago. I was getting uh, a X-ray of my hand or something, and I came to the hospital and I put my bike in the bike rack, and uh, next to me was a. I think 16 year old girl or 17, I don't know, on the chemo and uh, holy fuck man, she was looking dead and she had food in her bicycle um, bag and she was eating frantically out of the bag and uh, I should have, I don't know what I should have done, man. I should have talked to her and uh, maybe uh, get some dinner or something, show her sh just some fucking compassion, but I didn't, man, and she's probably dead as shit right now, holy fuck, man. I shoulda, woulda, coulda, <laughs> not the shit. But uh, it was years ago, so. And I, I uh, ended up feeling bad even now, man. Even now I feel bad about not acting. But yeah. So yeah, as for you, Richards. If I don't get the chemo, would I be, uh, would that be, uh, suicide? I don't know. That's why I ask. So, well, I might as well be, give you guys an update on the, uh, meditation. I've been meditating a few days well every day but since last Sunday I started laying down and uh 
Since then I felt myself move from left to the right. And two days ago I only had some activity in my feet. I was feeling like one leg was going to the right and the one to the left. That's all. And yesterday uh, I think I was too tired. I I just started dreaming and I just only meditated for uh, 30 minutes and I decided to quit it because I was just sleeping. So I only felt myself move a little bit. First three days was uh, pretty hard and after that it's diminished so. But I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna fucking keep trying. And a little update on my uh, oh, you know I went on these long ass walks. Well, now I'm gonna go on long ass bike rides. So next weekend, I would go on a long ass bike ride and. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy the camera, the P900, this weekend. I think I'm gonna buy it, so yeah. probably I'm gonna order it. So maybe it will be in the mail this week that comes. And then I can take it on a bike ride next weekend. Yeah! And uh, about the meditation, laying down, I'm going to do that outdoors. <laughs> See what happens. It's fucking... Oh, man. I used to be so afraid of meditation last, last year. It's unthinkable to me. Well, not now, but last year. That I would do that shit outdoor, man. That was fucking insane, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's gonna be cool, man. But uh, you know the uh, long ass walks. I was camping outside, and that was like insane. That I even started doing that because months before that I was going insane with all the ET stuff and uh, shit like that but I realized like this house, this bricks it's the same as a fucking tent outdoor man if the ETs are gonna get you <laughs> you can't escape so I said, like, fuck it, man. It doesn't fucking matter. And it really doesn't. It doesn't matter, man. No. No. So. I think I'm gonna bike ride to Antwerp next weekend. But I'm not gonna go in inner city because there's a lot of. Muslims and shit going on. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm not gonna go there, but uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how it goes. And, uh, I hope I have that camera by then. If not, no big deal. Well, I'm gonna order it maybe this evening or tomorrow. And if I can't find it, I will uh, go and try and find it in real life. So, uh, yeah. You only live once, they said. Well, I don't fucking believe that, but uh, I don't know, man. It's a fucking expensive camera. And, uh, well, for what it is, it's, it's not expensive, but 
I'm like, holy shit. Well, the way I see it, I see it. It's like pure luxury. And, uh, but yeah. Uh, it's like, well, what am I going to do with the money, man? <laughs> what am I going to do with my money? That's, <laughs> I would think it's insane, man. Ah, oh, fucking money is insane. Ugh. Not gonna give away all my money to fucking strangers. Not gonna do that. Better save it till I'm fucking broke, I guess. But how how do you get broke in Belgium? It's like when you get sick, you get paid by the health. I don't know health company. I don't know how you call it that, man. And it's a good thing, you know. You know? And if you don't get a job, you uh, get paid by the country. So. It's like, yeah, no wonder all the uh, uh, immigrants come down to Belgium. It's like fucking free shit, man. Yeah, that's the only positive thing about Belgium, I guess. Get all the shit for free, man. So, yeah. Okay. Baby, that's about it. So, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Oh yeah, my channel. Uh, yesterday I did a dream book reading. Well, there was one person that liked it, so I guess I'll be doing that. So, uh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> If one person likes it, it must be good. <laughs> ah, fucking shit. <laughs> so yeah, better expect more of that, okay? <laughs> bye bye.